guys how you doing welcome to another episode uh, on my channel so one of the things that people have really really asked about and i think i've talked about it so many times is around first time mom hacks like things that i experienced things that i've learned advice that i can be able to give people so i just decided let me just share that about what worked for me what didn't work for me just things that made made my life easier so these are things that probably moms have gone through but i hope it will be able to help new moms there's no expertise in anything here and there's no standard procedure for anything here it's just basically things that i did and things that worked for me one of the things i think should be done very early is baby showers i know people usually wait maybe until the last month or just before to have baby showers but i honestly think the earlier you have a baby shower the better because it allows the new mom to be prepared in good time there's some people who expect so much from the baby shower that they don't prepare in good time and by the time they have the baby shower they realize oh no this wasn't bought by anybody uh, although it was on the list and then they start running around and trust me if anyone's situation was like mine i was so so tired on month nine um i, I just wanted to rest um i ended up giving birth i think like two weeks earlier from when um i was i was meant to deliver so you see i had my hospital bag ready and then the other thing is just have the baby's room ready because you never know when the baby will come. In other words, just prepare. Prepare everything in good time. The other thing guys that I'll tell you, get help. Get help from your family, get help from your friends, get help from your husband, get nanny. When I came home, I was healing and mine wasn't so rough, but I was extremely swollen. I think I had a quite like some water retention and I wanted to I wanted to be like super mom like when my baby woke up and every time she was awake even if it's after 30 minutes I wanted to be the one to hold her I wanted to be the one to change her I wanted to be the one to do everything and guess what guys it reached a day I crashed I crashed I think I almost dropped the baby like because I was so tired and then on top of that I was so swollen like I was healing and it was it was a tough time there's nothing like super mom and it doesn't make you any less of a mom because somebody is helping you with the baby because you need to rest because honestly when i did not rest my milk disappeared i couldn't concentrate you know even all the attention that you want to give the baby you just don't have energy it just wasn't there please stick to your budget and i know we all want to do all these things and for the baby and everything which is fantastic but stick to your budget just have a budget for different things and stick to it um, as long as the baby is safe, the baby is healthy, the baby has food, the baby is well taken care of, you're fine. Oh, the other thing, please don't buy many clothes. For the guys who are taking, going for baby showers and all, don't buy many tiny, tiny clothes for, for, for the baby. You'd be so surprised how quick these kids grow. So uh, one of the things that guys kept asking about was around, good lord, is that a zit? <laughs> Anyway, one of the things guys were asking about is around uh, the cleaning and the bottles and the breastfeeding. So let me show you guys what that was all about. It's very, very simple. And as I said in the beginning of the video, you guys, you have to stick to your budget. Uh, but what I did, it's something I actually saw in the hospital. They had this kind of buckets and I actually went and got them. So for the cleaning, what, what used to be done at the hospital is that they used to put, uh, use Milton this Milton tablets yeah so what you do is that you put five liters of water normal tap water cold and then you put one tablet which is going to last about uh, 24 hours then you soak in your bottles inside it should be about 15 20 minutes and they're good um, you can leave the bottles inside but not for too long for me I just I just made sure that I have a very clean environment and I have these special clothes uh, whereby after I wash something I put them there and I just and I just cover them after they've gone on Milton. The other thing that I was doing when I was just a little bit extra about the, the whole hygiene thing, uh, I don't know if you can see, is here is that I have a sterilizing machine. I got, this was a hand-me-down. Uh, I was given by my friend. I used to do two levels of sterilizing. So I did the, the water and then I did the, the machine, but honestly, it's not that necessary. So uh, depending on the budget, if you can't afford the, the Milton tablets and the sterilizing, uh, you can just be able to you you have to boil so you put um, like a bottle of sufria you put in the 
the different bottles and the different items for the baby and you just boil them and then you make sure that you store them somewhere so you can see until now i store the bottles in there so i have different buckets for different things so these ones are clean they're sterilized they're dry and that's how i keep it the other thing that i found out as you guys know uh with the issues that i had with uh, my baby didn't latch so it was a struggle to try and find out exactly what bottle would be suitable for such a young child and i got this from Biashara street they are called camera very affordable bottles but they worked perfectly for her when she was very very young and then eventually when she grew older i moved now to the oven bottles they have a very good um teat that basically uh, like simulate the, na the nipple and yeah so that's what she uses right now when she's having milk Other thing that guys usually ask about is around colic. It's 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 terrible because my baby had colic uh, the, f the the first few weeks. Like she would cry for hours, um, especially at night. And I think the only way to manage, okay, what worked for me, I don't know if there's any professional opinion, was first of all eat less gassy foods. So I avoided beans, I avoided uh, um, dengus, green grams. I also avoided uh, cabbage, although I really love cabbage, so I had it once in a while. So that was that, and then there was also the bit around um, the, this uh, called cycling exercises. Allow me to use Miss Peppa Pig. Hi, Peppa Pig. You're the one who's going to demonstrate how we do cycling exercises for removing gas. So basically, uh, the baby's lying down, and then you take the baby's legs, and then you do slowly cycling motions, like you can count for example one to ten and then you slowly press on the baby's tummy a bit so very very slowly you press you press and then you press on the baby's bit um there's a lot of tutorials on on on, on youtube you can be able to have a look and then finally comfort and soothe the baby it always works i think i think children just like security children like warmth children like feeling loved so when they're in that like state of distress just hold the baby comfort the baby wrap the baby uh from the back to just try and remove also as you bath the baby just wrap the baby slowly and just hold and soothe i think the love can also help then of course there's the whole bit around uh bapping and and reflex when you feed the baby um you need to let the milk settle before you put the baby in bed because some babies have very very bad reflux so what i used to do is that after i feed her like i just hold her fast for like three minutes just let let her relax and then i would hold her over my shoulder the different styles of bapping so there's the one where you hold on on the knee and then you bap like that but i used to put her over my shoulder and then i would rub slowly and and let her bap but that's not where it stopped and this is where the trick usually is i would actually hold her whether she's asleep or not for another 20 to 30 minutes this allow the milk to settle because what i found out when you put the baby very quickly to the bed and they reflux and it's so dangerous it's very easy to choke them so i always prefer to let the milk settle totally so whether it's me or my nanny is putting the baby to sleep i usually just really really hold the baby for like 20 to 30 minutes let the milk settle and then you put the baby to bed it may work differently for other guys but that's what worked for me yeah so i think we've covered yeah on bapping reflux colic things that just make the baby uncomfortable one of the things that i think i have seen so much especially for new mummies is around children with eczema some time back a video was going around of this boy who had extreme eczema from Kirinyanga County and I'm happy he got help when my baby was two weeks um, I started noticing that she had these little bumps on top of her eyes so I thought okay maybe it's just because she's in a new environment she's adapting and, and, and everything then all of a sudden they were in the forehead and there were all these red itchy patches the third week, the fourth week, it got really, really bad. So she was itchy and dry all over her cheeks, all over her, just below her chin, and even down her neck. 
but she had nothing on her body so it was all on her face we kept checking so i figured i took pictures i sent to my doctors and my doctors were like it seems that your baby is experiencing mild eczema and i was like oh no and this is why i thank god for my sister by the way you guys need to follow a facebook page called transcend eczema and my sister is just creating a forum whereby she will explain both everything from the physical to the extremely emotional bit about having eczema especially when you people get into teenagehood and start becoming conscious about their skin and how they look and i think guys it is worth checking out and this is the first thing she told me cut protein cut dairy stop milk stop eggs stop cheese stop yogurt and stop red meat and i did that immediately and anything that has any of those ingredients and my doctor also recommended avino so you guys can be able to see there was this um avino baby for for the for the body and then there was also avino baby eczema therapy for the face after a week or two my baby's face started clearing one of the things that i figured out especially with babies what we consume can be able to affect the kind of flare out eczema flare out that your child has if you have a baby that has eczema look at what you're eating look at your diet and then also look at the at the at the lotions that you're doing apart from the avinos this is what i use for my skin and this is what i use for my baby now now that I have her skin cleared because i actually figured out it was not the oil it was just the diet i've just gotten a new fresh batch oh, it smells so good they use vanilla extract and it smells really really nice and this basically has natural ingredients this has worked for me and i think you guys should check them out i'll put their details below but they're called um, carite organics i think i've shared about them before i got some cool stuff from them that i want to try out they have this turmeric bar soap they have this uh, milky oat bar soap they have this moisturizing bar soap mm. they've also done variants for hair care and by the way i use this for my hair so i think maybe they've added a little bit of something to make it better for the hair so i can't wait so for children for mommies who have kids with eczema first of all i'll in, I'll, I'll have maybe a vlog with my sister to explain uh, she has a lot of knowledge from personal experience with eczema so follow transcend eczema and at the same time check your diet check clothes don't use harsh soaps for washing your baby's clothes and then make your baby's clothes cotton we have actually managed to take care of the eczema. On baby hygiene, um, it's very, very simple for me, especially now that she has very sensitive skin. I have, I'm gonna start using the, the, the natural shea butter soaps that I've just shown you guys, but I use also oilatum. It's very, 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 very gentle. It doesn't have, it doesn't have a strong smell. And it's very good for itchy, you know, irritated skin. It's just very simple and polite. I like it. So make sure that the basin is clean. Just a little bit of soap. I actually don't use soap every day. You don't have to use soap every day. I don't use wipes at all. I use cotton balls for everything, for changing her diaper and everything. And I, I realize buying actual cotton balls is very, very expensive. So what I do is that I usually buy the big bill of normal cotton balls and then I create my own cotton balls. And so basically what you do you when you cut this was shown by my nurse you just rub and then you create so it's much cheaper it will save you cost rather than going to buy the actual cotton balls in in terms of health of course there's a bit of vaccinations make sure your kids are vaccinated i know there's this whole argument about oh my god the polio vaccines are so many but the reason why this is happening is because polio always has new strains and they've actually found some new strains in Kenya. And you might not know this, but one child having polio is like an epidemic because it spreads so fast and it's so easy for the kids to get and you don't know which kid has that strain. So that's why the government is working so hard to make sure that everybody is uh, very well uh, vaccinated. I usually keep, this was from advice from my doctor. I usually have carpal in the house, but guys, I have never used it. But this is especially when a child has fever and you have to make sure the child actually has a fever and that's why you always have your thermometer in the house on health that's basically pretty it make sure that the 
there's a lot of hygiene to prevent diarrhea and then make sure that the baby is warm well taken care of and the place is clean to make sure that they don't have the congested chest and they don't get fevers because they get cold or something and then of course what everyone has you have to make sure that you have a grooming kit for your baby this one doesn't have everything the other stuff is inside there some some of the stuff she can't even use now that was part one i'll see you part two